hello welcome to my channel once again at this point in time i don't think it is that nice for all of us you know for ghana for nigeria for other african countries that also have a dish called jollof i think they should not and they should never ever compare themselves or compare their jollof to ghana jollof i don't know what they are going to gain i have actually seen a lot of competitions being held about this particular jollof war that's among these west african countries because we know that jollof is mostly a dish that is mostly being prepared amongst these west african countries that we have or in this west african region but a lot of competitions have actually been held and Ghana has emerged the winner over and over and over and over and over again. I think it's just last year or beginning of this year that I heard that they held one in Australia and Sierra Leone won it. And some other time too, I think I had, I think Gambia also. But since the inception of these competitions, to be honest with you, Ghana has won it throughout, even recently, one was held amongst all the African countries and Ghana won it again. Listen, I'm just fed up because let's use this as an example. Whiskey has confirmed it. A lot of celebrities, a lot of people. Why are we still doing this battle? Like, we should just put a stop to it. For me, that's what I would say. We should just put a stop to it. There is a video of Arista and some other foreigners also talking about Ghana Jollof and they love Ghana Jollof more than Nigerian Jollof. I want us to go watch these videos come back and talk Ghanaian jollof i mean they're both really amazing you know i grew up in it with nigerian jollof nigerian jollof rice like is actually like it's called party rice so people eat it at parties like it's a celebratory like food the culture around is that they usually use, use like a big pot to cook it outside so it kind of burns so it's smoky so it's smoky jollof rice, like that's what it's called. Then Ghanaian jollof rice has like things inside. Nigerian jollof rice, your protein is outside, your vegetables are outside if you're having like salad. So you have the rice and everything else. So it's two different vibes. I'll ask you this question. Okay. Ghanaian or Nigerian jollof rice? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> God, let me hear it from you, from, Stop, from Whiskey. Bro, why? Why would you like this? This is the hot You know, take. Ghana's my second home. Yeah, I know, but I want to know which. You have a house in Ghana. The, uh, where, whereabouts? I'm not telling you. I don't <laughs> to tell you. <laughs> so I want to visit. <laughs> no, I don't trust you. <laughs> <laughs> jokes, bro, jokes. Um, man, don't do not do that to we're, me. We're not gonna, you're not going to answer that? No. See, this would have been the hot take. This was Because I'm not going to lie to you. See, this would have been the clip. Let, let, let me tell you the truth. Okay, zoom in. Yeah. Go ahead. I love Nigel Why? Right. 100%. But when I'm in New York, or when I go to Ghana, my friend's wife, she makes this crazy Ghana jollof. Wow. With some goat's meat. It's bad. <laughs> <laughs> so, I love Ghana jollof and I love Niger jollof. No, you said you love Ghana more. That. <laughs> <laughs> that is the hot take. <laughs> and we can end the interview right. With what, with, with what I have done to Ghana jollof, yes. Madam, Madam Kesha. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I don't know if I can get me. Oh, hey, 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 bring more, bring more. That's uh, impossible. I'll put it uh, and uh, I'll go with it. Correct. It's granted. I want to be warming it for like one week. Ah, you have it. You have I'll be remembering that I came to Ghana. God bless you. And then, what did you think about the jollof? Oh, I ain't gonna lie. I'm not a jury no more. <laughs> Ghana jollof or Nigerian jollof? Ghana. Ghana jollof or Nigerian jollof? Ghana. Ghana jollof or Nigerian jollof? Ghana. Jollof or Nigerian jollof? Ghana jollof. Have any Let's hear from the Ghanaian. You said, okay, okay. You, talk, the... you talk, you talk. say it. What is this? This is jollof. But the... this is... No, which jollof? As this is a Senegal jollof. The original one, right? Original. Not uh -huh. like the Ghanaian one. No, no, no. But the Nigerians. Nigeria is a wack. <laughs> Their the jollof is so good. <laughs> Ghanaian jollof is better than this one. <laughs> We're here with Sarah. Sarah. Hi. Hello. <laughs> 
so this is what i've been telling you listen we should just stop this competition if you are a country that has won it multiple times let me use this as an example i learned the african cup of nations or even the world cup if you win it continuously for like three times you keep the cup so man why are we doing this we should just stop we have had countless nigerians coming into ghana or even in nigeria talk about you know recently um i think about last year there about hilda Bassi was all over the place go ghana jollof is this ghana jollof is that at the end of the day she was giving ghana jollof to eat that one it was very evident everybody saw it by becca and her husband and at the end of the day she confirmed that ghana jollof is nice there is no competition that it will be held that ghana will not emerge the winner we should pack that one aside and i think this video that i'm making i'm pleading with everybody these organizations that please stop organizing these competitions we don't want to see them again there is one food that originated from ghana that food is fufu but that one too, it has spread along the coast of West Africa or throughout the region of West Africa and West African country has fufu, but they don't know how to make it. Sierra Leone has fufu, Nigeria has fufu, Cote d'Ivoire has fufu. All of them or most of them, they don't know how to prepare fufu very well because Google will tell you it originates from Ghana. So why are people or other African countries just trying to fight us? I've said this countless times on my channel that Ghana food is spiritual. Ghana food is addictive. You can never do without Ghana food. This thing that I'm saying, ask every Ghanaian who is in Ghana and who has traveled and also the visitors that come into the country. When they eat this food, how do they feel? Thank you. Ghanaian jollof. I mean, they're both really amazing, you know. I grew up in with Nigerian jollof. Nigerian jollof rice, like, is actually like it's called party rice. So people eat it at parties, like it's a celebratory like food. The culture around it is that they usually use, use like a big pot to cook it outside, so it kind of burns, so it's smoky. So it's smoky jollof rice, like that's what it's called. Then Ghanaian jollof rice has like things inside. Nigerian jollof rice, your protein is outside, your vegetables are outside. If you're having like salad so you have the rice and everything else so it's two different vibes with what, with, with what i have done to ghana jollof yes madam kakra please you know please madam madam kakra yes sir yes sir i don't know if i can get more oh hey, yes, sir. bring more bring more that's uh, impossible i'll put it uh, and uh, i'll go with it I want to be one minute for like one week. So ah, that I'll be, you have it, you have I'll be remembering that I came to Ghana. God bless you. You didn't answer the question. Ghana Jolof and Nigeria, which one is it passed? I what did you think about the Jolof? Oh, I, just, I, I ain't gonna lie. Oh. I'm not Nigerian no more. <laughs> Ghana jollof or Nigerian jollof? Ghana. Ghana jollof or Nigerian jollof? Ghana. Ghana jollof or Nigerian jollof? Ghana. Jollof or Nigerian jollof? Ghana jollof. Doesn't have any. Let's hear from the Ghanaian. You said. Okay, okay. You talk. You talk. You say it. What is this? This is jollof. But the, this is. No, which jollof? 